Hey, Archimedes. Yeah. Take that regular hexagon and put it up. Find the perimeter. Yeah. It's six times the R or three diameters tough. Put it in a circle. Yeah. Its perimeter is not quite circumference, but close. There's extra space. Oh, yeah. C over D slightly larger than three, but wait, because the ratio of circumference to diameter is pi, and any circle, whether tiny or an arc around the sky, which means to find that curving C, we can start by knowing D, then multiply by approximately 3.14159265.3. Hey, Archimedes. Yeah. A regular 12-sided polygon instead of the six. This gets us closer. Yeah. The new perimeter is almost right along with the circumference, 24. Or a 48-sided polygon might pass the test. We're so close. Oh, yes. But we'll never really line up with the C like this. Because the ratio of circumference to diameter is pi. And any circle, whether tiny or an arc around the sky, which means to find that curving C, we can start by knowing D, then multiply by approximately 3.14159265.3. The Babylonians and Egyptians, yeah, they got pretty close. But the Greeks did it best with 3.14. They couldn't imagine regular polygons with infinite sides to define a perfect circle for engineering and design. Uh, hey, hey. Oh, oh. Now we use all these computers to infinitely know that pi is so irrational it never really ends. Can't be a quotient from a ratio of integers then. It won't terminate and never misses a beat. And you guessed it, pi never repeats. Because the ratio of circumference to diameter is pi, and any circle, whether tiny or an arc around the sky, which means to find that curving C, we can start by knowing D, then multiply by approximately 3.14159265.3.